In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some more websites for some awesome design inspiration, specifically here in early 2022. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. The first website is We On, and this is a Moscow-based company that designs buildings and offers engineering solutions. So this website is en.weon.avadev.ru. So that's a long URL, so I'll put that down in the description along with all of the designs I showcase in this video, so you can easily go check those out if you're interested in any of these. So this first one, I really liked this one, and I wanted to include it because it is the trendy, bold, big font style that we're seeing throughout the year so far. And they've got this heading here in the center of the page right as soon as you load up the hero where they've spaced out some of the different text to kind of really draw your eye in. Very stylized option. I think this is a good change of pace from just having your normal H1 text on your page. Designers are now paying more attention to that generic H1 tag and they're kind of mixing it up and trying to make it a little bit more unique instead of the left-hand column. Also, the whole website is very minimal very clean. So they've got this nice block section down here of one of their buildings. They're kind of teasing. So as you scroll down, the text is going to overlay, kind of turning that image into a nice black and white, very subtle scroll interaction. And I like that they keep their interactions on the site very minimal. There's not a whole lot going on. There's not a mouse cursor and a bunch of things flying around melting my GPU. So that's great. Uh, so very clean again, nice block section here with a demo link here on the right for Nika, which I think is their software. I could be wrong on that. With this heading in particular, I find these harder to read. So for the UX side of this, I don't necessarily like using this much text for this big of a font, uh, but let me know what your thoughts are down on that in the comments. Let's actually look at what font they're using. I'm interested in seeing what they're using here. So let me grab a hold of that H1, for example. So they're using Grammatica Demo. I've never heard of that one, so that's a pretty cool looking one. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, so Grammatica Demo for probably most of their headings. I would say they're using that for the main heading throughout the entire site. I don't see any variations of that. And then they've got this nice black theme section to kind of mix up the whitish color they have for the background. And then they go into their work with this nice full block section. Very good imagery and then on down to the rest of their projects in this nice kind of grid section. I've seen this a lot throughout last year with these different sections that aren't just your typical standard square four by four grid cells. They kind of got everything asymmetrical. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so let's take a look at one of these pages. So they're opting in for the nice minimal hero section, which just is the product itself, the end result of the building, which looks really nice. So that's a really good block section as you scroll down. You get the name of the project and all the details about it. So keeping it very minimal with no distractions just to showcase their work, letting it stand out. I think that's a really good way to do it when you have work that looks that beautiful. So as we scroll down, we get some more images and then we have links that take us to some of their other projects with this nice hover image changing for each one. So really cool one to take a look at, nice and minimal, big bold fonts and some really nice clean sections. So that's en.weon.avadev.ru. Again, that link's down in the description. Before we take a look at the next website, I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Milanote. Milanote is a long-term sponsor here on the channel, and I pretty much use Milanote every day to map out and plan all of my creative projects. As a full-stack designer, Milanote is a crucial part of my workflow as I utilize it as a project hub. From adding simple notes and to-do lists to creating full detailed brainstorming boards and mood boards. And not to mention that Milano is collaborative, so I review with my clients inside of Milano when we're going over the different design iterations for a project. So if you're looking for a tool to map out and plan your creative ideas and projects, check out the link at the top of the description and sign up for Milano. This next one, I know I'm going to butcher the name. It's argor-harrius.com. Again, probably mispronounced that. It's a precious metal provider, so I'll have the link to that down in the description. And this one, they've got a nice bold heading here on the left, and they've got this sphere that kind of reminds me of the Cinema 4D or Blender texture model. So when you look at your different textures, they always have it on this sphere, which looks really cool. And this nice high resolution video playing here on the side of different precious metals. So I like this site a lot because of its storytelling. It's got some data visualization, and I really like the branding of the site itself, how they've made everything kind of look like a precious metal. They've got the dark kind of goldish brown mixture for the background. There's this little gold streak that follows the mouse around. 
And over here at the top, I don't know if you will be able to see it in the video, but they've changed the kind of style bar color that you can on Safari to a gold as well. Uh, so for this one, it's horizontal scrolling. So if you need some inspiration for a horizontally scroll website, this is a good one to take a look at as well. And you'll see right away here in the process page that they've got their data nice and laid out in a visual way. So they've got these cool gold bars down here at the bottom. Now I will say that they do have a lot of high resolution images and assets on this page. You'll see here in a minute as I keep scrolling, there's gonna be some 3D assets pop up, I think in section three. And so my computer is lagging a little bit because I don't have an M1 Mac, it's just the one before it. Uh, so my computer is lagging a little bit. So there's some UX there for lower end uh, computers, I'm sure. Uh, but other than that, I really like the way they visualize their data and they have these cool little blobs in the background behind the different heading categories, which I think are cool. They all animate and move around and they're all just a little bit different shaped, all kind of looking like a liquid gold, which is cool. So here's some of the 3D models I was talking about where they showed different percentages based on the different category. And one of the UX things that kind of confused me a little bit is they have these numbers for each of the sections. And I thought that corresponded with kind of the navigation up here up top, but that actually does not. There's different complete pages. Uh, so I thought it was going from one to two to three. Uh, but once I figured that out, not a big deal. But overall, really cool horizontally scrolling website. Good way to visualize some data and a good branding that I recommend taking a look at. That is, again, argorharius.com. Probably wrong. Link down in the description. Okay, so I just started the recording a little early on this one because I don't know if this is a real person. This could be a real person in this kind of microverse, I think they call this. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me go over here and see. Is another person over here? These could be just random models. I don't know if they're people or not, but that one walked up to me. What is your name? This might be real people and that might be their location. Can I click on this person? Oh, that's pretty cool. So if that is real people, that's a really cool thing to do on a website. Uh, so this next one is the gameawards.dreamwave.live. So this was a website actually created for an event and you could attend on December 9th of 2021 and you could join and watch the annual game awards in this 3D environment. Uh, so I think we're gonna see a lot of this coming up in the years of these websites that have designed these 3D spaces where we're gonna walk around in and kind of navigate instead of scrolling, which is very interesting, especially on a computer like I'm on instead of like in a VR headset. Uh, let me know your guys' opinion on exploring a website in this way other than just typically scrolling and navigating like you would through a navigation. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but I don't know if I'd want it on every website unless I was in obviously VR or something. I think this is all you can do in here is just walk around. Uh, but it's a cool, cool website to take a look at if you're interested in designing. I didn't even know you could go down here. Uh, in designing a website with a 3D environment. Very cool environment. Look at that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what companies do with this kind of technology in the future, especially for people on a computer instead of in VR. So again, that website was thegameawards.dreamwave.live. There you have it, three very different web designs for some awesome design inspiration, some cool styles, and some unique technology. That last one kind of blew my mind, as you could probably tell. I've seen that kind of 3D environment before, but never with live avatars running around and without any lag at all. I didn't experience anything while recording, which is pretty incredible. So let me know what you guys think of these websites down in the comments below. Thanks to Millinote for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check out their product for planning your next creative project, check out the link at the top of the description. Check out these videos for more design-related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.